Yo, what is that, guys? Shinobi Evie here back again with another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about Sword Online Progressive and its movie adoption that it is getting the second part in 2022. And for those of you guys who are new, then welcome to the channel. My name is Shinobi Evie. I like to cover SAO content along with Bleach. But on top of that, I like to do theories for anime as well as other content as well for gaming. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Baby, I'm a gangster too, and it takes me to tango. You don't wanna mess with me, mess with me. Baby, I'm a gangster too. back so once again thank you all for coming in and watching this video with me and sharing my thoughts and opinions and before we get started here for any of y'all who are watching this video please leave a comment down below about who your favorite SAO character is and why mine personally is Sinon because she's best waifu but as a swords person I had to go with most likely Yu-Gi-Oh or Klein I know most people like here tell us a swords person and I do too you know the dual wielding is cool and all but like Aside from being a main character, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh and Klein, bro, they're my homies, man. They're, they're, they were holding it down, bro. They are holding it down, bro. Yu-Gi-Oh got played, though. Like, he got played so hard in Alicization, I'm pretty sad about that. But other than that, let's go ahead and get straight into this. So, yeah, no, SAO has gotten finally an announcement about, you know, the Progressive series and the movie coming out. And apparently, we got a movie coming out this year in Autumn. And you already know I'm going to be there day one once again, just like I was the first time, bro. And let me just show you my thoughts and opinions about the first movie if you weren't there to watch my first video about that that I made earlier on on my channel. But I really enjoyed the movie. Me personally, it, 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 me, per like, it did really well. Really well. Like, it was different from the manga and I th heard. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that the reason it was different from the manga was is because it's going by the light novel. It's like a light novel version of what's going on in Aincrad. So, I don't know if that's true or not. Somebody in the comment section, definitely, if you know the information with that, confirm that. I'm not going to say anything until that's confirmed, but uh, that's the reason it was different. Either way, I enjoyed it, though. Like, it had its charm for it, and I also liked the introduction of Mito as well. The fact that she's a scythe is fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, if they come up with another SAO game, there better be an option for a site. I'm not gonna lie to you, because I'm about to be like, I'm about to be like Mako from fucking Soul Eater up in here, just going crazy with a site if they do. Like, that'd be a whole new skill power to put in. That's more content as well, for me personally, or for us SAO fans in general, bro. That'd be more content for us if a new SAO game came out where they allowed us to use a site, bro. That'd be insane. So that's all that's a whole nother content. That's a whole nother section on the sub, bro. Like if we get an SAO game, it better be on Oncrad, bro. And that better allow us to have a scythe. Also, it better be like Fatal Boy where it's our own story where we're going through Oncrad, but we get to kind of see what Austin is going through and with Kirito. So we better get something like that. In my opinion. Like, if that's gonna be the new SAO game, that that that's the one we want right there. But me personally, progressive, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the soundtrack. You know, like, Lisa never fucking misses, bro. She never misses when it comes to soundtrack, and I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. When it comes to this art that I'm looking at right now, this art looks beautiful. Now, I don't know what that creature or what that is looking at behind uh, the two, but it looks like they're, you know, getting ready to fight it and everything like that. I don't know what they're looking at, but it looks like a new boss or maybe an obstacle they have to get through, and I'm pretty excited for it because, you know, it's something new. Like I said, if it's going off the light novel, which I haven't read yet, unfortunately, because I haven't got my hands on it yet, um, that means it's going to be all new stuff for me, and I have no spoilers, I don't know not much about the light novel, I know a lot about the manga because I had the first seven volumes, which, of course, with the progressive manga, they did stop it at one point, but I've heard that they are continuing to do so, or continuing to actually move on with the manga, so when volume 8 comes out, you best believe I'm buying it, so, <laughs> you know, hopefully they continue on with that, but... 
Um, now, all this stuff for the progressive movies, it's going to be new for me if it's going off the light novel. So, no spoilers in the comment sections, alright? But, no, me personally, like, for the first movie, like, some things I liked about the movie was the fact that, A, it's based off of Austin's perspective, right? So, you got that. And th there's a second thing, and it's also the fact that they show Asuna as a beginner. When we first met Asuna in original SAO in season one, she wasn't, like, OP, but she wasn't, like, you know, how she was in the movie. Like, when she was shown in the movie, she didn't even know how to play the game. She didn't know what she was doing. She was basically an amateur until Mito taught her the sword skills and everything like that. And that's another thing. I like the introduction of Mito as a side character that she could travel with instead of Kirito. And I know people like to see Kirito a lot more, but me personally, I didn't mind the fact that he wasn't there. I, after a little while, I was kind of like, you know... You know where my boy at, but like for the most part, you know it was it was nice just seeing something from Austin's perspective. You get to see a lot more stuff going on. You know it actually kind of makes you feel like you're in the game when you watch that movie. It's like people are actually dying. Like they 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 make sure that you feel everything in that movie, bro. And it's crazy, but it, it's good at the same time. So I really enjoy it. Other than that, though, I um, also like the introduction of Argo, though we didn't get to see her as much in that movie as I'd want to see her. And we didn't get really see Klein or Agio as much. Agio, of course, we got to see it for the fight scene, so I'm glad they put my boy in for that. So, I'm, yeah, I'm glad for that at least, but you didn't get to see Silica, Elizabeth, or any of the others, even though, to be honest, they didn't really show up early in SAO anyways, even in the original, you know, show, so I'm not too concerned about that, but hopefully they find a way to get them in there and to be able to give them some justice on screen time. They better not do my boy Klein dirty again. I just gotta say that right now. Klein better not get done dirty, bro. He better get some screen time. My boy better be looking elite when we see him, so <laughs> that's just me, though. But me personally, when it comes to this new movie, me personally, I think it's going to be going over books 3 and 4. So we might be seeing some new stuff when it comes to that. Uh, hopefully we get some more screen time with Argo. Hopefully we get to see a lot more of Kirito and Asuna on screen. So kind of a mix of both. Especially since it looks like by the end of the movie that they're going to be traveling together. I'm still waiting for them to release the DVD because I just want to rewatch it and just, you know, dive deep into the movie. Because I've only watched it one time. I didn't get to watch it the second time. Though I am thinking about you know going and watching it a second time my younger brother or my siblings because they haven't watched it yet and they were jealous to tell that i went without them but they had school i didn't so yeah <laughs> kind of sucks to sell when it comes to that but i'm definitely gonna have to take them to watch it again me personally for my personal reasons with the channel and of course the movie was you know awesome and also some of my younger siblings can watch it because they love sao as well but <laughs> Other than that, me personally hope to get to see some more Klein, maybe, you know, maybe some Argo, maybe some, you know, Asuna and Kirito funny moments and everything like that, which was also good, because they had some funny moments in there. It also showed that, you know, when it comes to the beta testers, and this is one thing I really like, when it came to the beta testers and how everybody really felt about it, we really kind of, you know, sinking at home that people really thought that the beta testers were cheaters about, you know, the game because they didn't know a lot, even though, you know, as our, you know, as our boy Agio said, he's like, yo, everybody got these books and everything like that. Even they didn't know that the game was going to be different than the freaking beta. So, kind of just put that point home. And, you know, I love that whole entire talk that Austin had with Kirito during the movie. Talking about, you know, beta testers especially since, spoiler, I'm saying it's a spoiler now if you haven't watched the movie. But Mito, who was one of the newer characters, who was a beta tester just like Kirito. So... You know, there's that too, so kind of had some insight into that. So I like that they add that little tidbit in there, especially since we got to see Asa as a newbie and how she, you know, became basically a solo player and how she became so powerful. But other than that, like, I'm just really excited for the movie. I don't know about y'all, but like, I'm ready to see this movie. The animation be looking hype, the music be looking hype, so. Hopefully we get a trailer drop because when we do, definitely believe that I'm going to be going over there and, you know, watching it with y'all. So if you guys definitely want to see more SAO content or just more anime content in general, definitely you're going to want to subscribe to the channel or, you know, just leave a like, share it to your friends and everything like that. But other than that, I know this is a short video. I think that's where I'm going to end it. There wasn't too much information concerning Progressive right now. I kind of just went off of what I saw. You know, I saw it on Twitter, I saw it on a bunch of websites, so I had to go and document a video for this so that I can put my thoughts and opinions about not only the progressive movie that, you know, I watched, but my thoughts and opinions on how I think this movie's gonna go. But either way, I wanna know what you guys think. I know, you know, I wanna know your guys' opinions, you know, your thoughts. And, you know, once again, like, you know, whatever else you have concerns about SAO or the content in general, so. 
yeah without further ado hope you guys enjoyed the video leave your comments down below about what you guys think the movie is gonna you know contain what your favorite part of the older movie you guys watched it well your favorite part of that older movie was me personally it was the fight and also the, of course the bath scene you know because why the fuck wouldn't that be the most important part of everything you know but <laughs> yeah without further ado i'm gonna get out of here hope you guys have a good day and when the trailer drops definitely believe that i'm gonna be dropping some content on that hope you also have been enjoying if you guys have been watching those ones hopefully you guys been enjoying the amvs i've been doing you know i've been working on my editing skills because it's always something i've wanted to do and i've always watched people on tiktok or on you know youtube do amvs so i you know decided to put my hand into the pot when it comes to those and I, i'm glad to see that you guys are enjoying them so without further ado uh <laughs> i think i'm gonna get out of here and i'll see you guys in another video and this is gonna be shinobi evie signing off peace out <laughs>